do you turn the freaking AC off? That shit's loud. Shut up. Am I recording? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm sure should check. You would not believe how difficult it was to figure out how to operate my AC. I'm hungry. Hi, it's me. Platt, your local <laughs> fucking reptile. So I was rummaging through my cupboards, right? Yes, these are my chef glasses. Shut up. Um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to get so aggressive. Anyway, I was rummaging, you know, messing around in my cupboards, right? And I saw some tortillas. And I was like, you know, the first question that popped into my head. How old are these? Not important. What? <laughs> Why did I put that on the floor? We are, I, not we, you are not doing anything. <laughs> you just, you can sit there, relax, enjoy. I really want breakfast burritos, right? I love breakfast burritos. It's my favorite breakfast ever in the world, ever. I said ever twice, but that's fine. Since I'm hungry, I'm going to be making some breakfast burritos. I'm gonna make breakfast burritos, but I don't actually know if I have the stuff to make them. And that's the challenge for this video, is can I make a breakfast burrito with whatever I got, assuming that I even have enough to make one? Okay, so first up, let's go over the ingredients that we do have. Okay, so we have four tortillas, adds flavor, um, floor season. Next, we have We'll, we'll try to find something something that works, right? So first you got to clip your magnet to your hair tie that's hanging on your wall. Then you got to open up the freezer and then take that same magnet and clip it to the side so your freezer stays open. Yeah, that's right. I wasn't just being dumb. That's a real thing. <laughs> Innovation that excites. Oh, here we go. Oh, but they're sausage patties. Okay, we'll use that. We'll, we'll cut them up after cooking. Bam. Already, we're like 80% done. I always have potatoes in mind, but here's the thing. I don't have like hash browns or anything. All I have are french fries. So we're going to do that. See? See? We're already we're like 80%. We're 80% of the way there. Okay? Now we're going to unhook our fridge magnet and uh, let it slowly close. Nice. Next, we're gonna check the fridge and see what we got. Yeah, that's right, I got another magnet for that sucker too. Okay, probably not gonna put creamer in there. That'd be a little, little, little wacky, a little too wacky for my taste. We have cheese. Um, This is the only cheese I have other than mozzarella, but I think it'll be fine for this probably. And then of course, we got the eggs and they're probably not even, you know, spoiled. <laughs> I think, honestly, that's all we really need. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start making these breakfast burritos. I thought the challenge would make this more interesting, like I'd have to do some real wacky stuff, but that seems to not be the case because these are pretty mundane ingredients. Uh, let's go. Okay, so I don't believe in microwaves, okay? They don't exist, they're not real. I will not believe in microwaves. Okay, stovetop is a recommended method, so we're probably gonna do that. No, am I ripping through the thing that's supposed to seal the bag? No! We're gonna go ahead and, yeah, okay, so this air fryer that I opened up in a previous video is actually, like, super nice. It's a little too convenient sometimes. I mean, half the stuff I eat comes out of this thing at this point. It's an, It works for everything! Anyway, we're gonna air fry. Uh, it's actually automatically set four french fries, which is like kind of kind of weird, kind of wacky, kind of epic though. And now it's preheating. Now we can get on to the to the real exciting fun stuff, uh, like shutting our cupboard that we left open by accident. We don't need a big pan, so we're gonna go ahead and use this sucker, right? We're gonna go ahead, preheat the stove. Uh, <laughs> preheat the stove? You don't preheat the stove, you preheat the pan. Wow, actual reptile brain moment right there. Um, I'm gonna use olive oil because may as well. I'm actually gonna heat up the wok as well. You know, you never know when you're gonna need a wok, okay? 
it's always a good thing to, to, to just kind of have have on standby, right? We're, we're probably going to use that to heat up the tortillas because if you don't heat up your tortillas when you're making breakfast burritos, you are an actual heathen. Uh, whoa, we changed camera angles. That's pretty wacky. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and crack our egg. What is that? Holy mackerel. Was a freaking, was a bird trying to get out of this bitch? What's with all the like weird veins in the egg? That's a little creepy, uh, a little little wacky even. Um, we're gonna go ahead and crack this bad boy. I was gonna do it with one hand, but then I decided not to because I kind of want to see what's the deal with this one. Oh, that's why it's got a fucked up yolk. We're gonna just we're gonna go with it. I, this was actually supposed to be the waste, and this was supposed to be where the eggs were going. Ah, uh, whatever. You know, sometimes in life you gotta switch from white to green, and then there you go. You freaking. And then, yep, yeah, we're gonna just, uh, oh no, I literally just poured eggshell in there for no reason. Because I was trying to get fancy with it and I messed up. Don't mess up, kids. Ever. Ever. If you make a mistake, you're fucking donezo. Just kidding. Don't take that. Don't take that as actual advice. That's not actual advice. Anyway, here we get, we have our eggs. We have our egg waste. It's good to have a waste bowl. I know, I'm walking away from the camera so I sound further away. Anyway, it's good to have like a waste bowl when you're cooking, right? So if you're cutting up veggies and whatnot, you don't have to keep going back and forth from the trash can. I mean, I literally just went to the trash can, so I kind of defeated the purpose of a waste bowl. But, you know, oven's ready. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put a pause on this and put our french fries in the air fryer before the air fryer gets mad at me for not putting food in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open that up. I just didn't want to melt the plastic by accident. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, we gotta play musical chairs with the freaking grates because I didn't set it up properly. There we go. They've been switched switched around and pull that out. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many fries we need, so I'm gonna just kind of do that. Uh, we probably don't need need that many fries because gonna be just a little bit. If any of you are getting anxious because I'm sticking my hand inside of an air fryer, uh, I'm anxious too, so it's okay. We're cool. And we'll probably put one more. Alright, cool. Now we're gonna just slide that bitch in and uh, hope that we didn't mess anything up. Nice. Excellent. And now we're gonna go ahead time and make it back to 18 because I messed up. No, start. Okay. And now it's going. And in 18 minutes, we're going to have some nice, crispy french fries. So back to whatever I was doing over here. We're going to go ahead and grab a fork and whisk this bad boy up. Because we're making scrambled eggs, essentially. Alright, that's pretty good. So now that we have the scrambled eggs ready, we're going to go ahead and oil up our pan. Where's the cover? Where did I put the freaking lid to the pan? Is it in here? Did I leave it in the, in, the, in the... I was about to say the oven. That's not an oven, that's a dishwasher. Yep, that's the right size. We're gonna cook cook, cook our, our, our sausages, and they're gonna be, they're gonna be nice and tasty, or something, probably. I don't actually know, I've never tried them before. Holy shit, ah! Get on there, get, don't you spit at me, mister, you mean bitch. Okay, well I'm gonna, while I figure that out, we're gonna cut to commercial break. Are you sick and tired of breaking your controller? Well, then try this. It's called outside, bitch. <laughs> oh, there's a screen there, that kind of didn't really work very well. Alright, that commercial break thing, that was kind of a joke, a little bit of a lie. Ah! Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and flip these bad boys and then cover them for another two minutes. No, flip. Stop spitting. Stop screaming. Shut up. All right, that was easy, wasn't it? Okay, so as it turns out, I need two hands for this because my goodness, why is this so freaking aggressive? All right, so there we go. We cooked, we cooked our stuff. 
Oh, Lordy Lou, can you just get underneath? Thank you. Good sir. You boger. All right. So, there we go. Sausage one, sausage two. Uh, numbered arbitrarily. So now that we have our, our sausages, we need to let them kind of cool down, right? Because uh, we're gonna cut them up and then we're gonna mix them in with our eggs. Uh, first things first, we don't need that much oil, my lord. Um, we're gonna try to prevent too much, too much of the, uh, too much of the uh, clogged artery kind of, kind of flavor for our breakfast burrito. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so oddly enough, and also because I'm impatient, turns out they're cool enough to touch. Either that, or I've lost all feeling in my hands after scalding them with freaking oil. So we're gonna go ahead and cut them up. We got our knife. We're gonna cut it up. It's gonna be great. Um, please don't sound like you're completely burnt, because that would be embarrassing. Probably gonna cut it into quarters, and then thirds. So they're they're gonna be a little bit kind of kind of wonk jank, but it's it's fine. We actually like a little bit of wonk jank for our breakfast burritos. Adds flavor, right? That's that's the that's the key ingredient. Flavor. What is flavor made out of? Eighty percent intuition, twenty percent improvisation, uh, and then the other five percent is like salt and pepper or some shit. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try to see how it tastes. I mean, it's all right. Oh, but it's all right proceeds to f die violently. <laughs> it's just so dry. Seven out of 10. Turn the pan back up to probably about medium and a half, uh, minus three. And then uh, kind of just wait for the thing to heat back up, uh, which probably shouldn't take too long since it was piping hot and burning the skin off of me like two seconds ago. And then we're gonna put the eggs in and we're gonna mix in the sausage. Uh, I figure may as well mix it in because it's a little dry. So if maybe maybe by mixing it in with the egg, it'll kind of resolve that. Probably not, but you know. All right, it's probably hot enough. Either that or I'm impatient. Once again, that's probably gonna be my downfall. We're gonna go ahead and put in our scramble mix. Some of you may not know this, but I like crispy. Um, when it comes to eggs, uh, for some reason that also kind of applies. So while some people may think I like, I, I, I just burn eggs, um, that's intentional. I promise you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just giving you a warning, okay? I like a little bit of brown on my eggs, okay? Not too much. We're not, we're not freaking... We're not, uh, what's a, what, what's a smart thing to say? We're not burning them. We are dropping the sausage though. Uh, de gustibus non est disputando. Okay, you know what that means? It means mind your own goddamn business of what I do with my eggs. Okay, we're looking in pretty good shape for the shape we're in. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, actually start adding the seasonings. You wanna wait to add the seasonings. You don't wanna add them too quickly because otherwise it gives the eggs a weird texture. Like if you put salt in, like when you, when you first put the egg, like the raw egg in. But now we're in a point where it'd be, it'd be a good and wise and smart idea to start adding some of that, some of that flavor, all right? So first we're gonna add the salt, kind of just feel it out. That's, I feel a little too much. So we're gonna lighten up on that. Uh, I, I love how I have these like measuring spoons on top of the jars and then I just never use them because pinching is so convenient. And isn't, isn't that true in real life too? You know, well, I mean, this is real life. It's not like cooking is fake life. I mean, if it is then fuck, I'm sorry, Gordon. So that's probably good for salt and pepper. We're gonna go ahead and add some add some specialties, okay? What to add? What to add? Probably a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a kick, right? Because if I don't add cayenne pepper, um, have I even, you know, lived? That made more sense in my head, but <laughs> you get the picture. It needs to have some spice, okay? Kind of weird. I know you're probably gonna be all like, "Oh, what the heck are you doing?" Curry powder. I love putting curry powder in my eggs. 
what else are we adding to this sucker? Now we could probably add a little bit of a little bit of that garlic. Oh shit, that was a little too much on that side. It's okay, we're mixing it later. Some cumin. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me smell it. That's how I usually figure out if I want to add it. Honestly, yeah, you know that would go well with the curry powder. So we're gonna we're gonna add that too. Okay. So now that we have bastardized our eggs, we're gonna go ahead and incorporate them into the family tree of flavor. We're going to Flavor Town, Guy Ferrari, some, something like that. And then we're gonna just throw the sausage back in there and pretend no one saw. <laughs> so guys, I have some unfortunate news. One of our brave soldiers <laughs> has fallen in battle. <laughs> One of the french fries was literally just black. Everything else is pretty fine. I mean, I like my fries nice and crispy. I've made them before. They're a little darker this time, but, you know, ultimately that'll be fine. Because, you know, we need them to be nice and super crispy. You know you wanna. There we go. That's a good french fry. Okay, now that you have a nice view of the inside of my rice cooker without the bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of toss the fries up in some seasonings as well, um, because right now they're kind of, kind of, kind of sad looking. Not bad looking, but sad looking. You want to know why they're sad? Because they got no spice in their life. Now we're gonna, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that with some, some of, some of this, some of this good stuff. <laughs> we're gonna add a little extra because a lot of it's not even gonna stick. Um, but that's fine. It's ultimate. It's fine. It's fine. The the less that the salt sticks, shit. The less that the salt sticks to the French fries, the better our blood pressure is gonna be after we finish eating this burrito. <laughs> I don't know if this is all gonna fit in one burrito. Looking at it, there's absolutely, actually, yeah, no, there's legitimately no way it's gonna all fit. But that's fine. That's fine. We like to we like to you know fill our burritos. And instead of adding some like spicy heat we're gonna add some paprika now um if you think paprika is spicy you're a bit you're a bit of a silly billy okay paprika is not spicy it's a kind of sweet almost like smoky kind of kind of flavor yeah organic sweet peppers are smoked over oak to produce a distinctive sweet and smoky taste notice it does not say spicy I, I like how I'm reading it off and just like not proving that it actually says that. Okay, read that. Read that. Sweet and smoky flavor taste. Whoops. Uh, yeah. It even says sprinkle on potatoes. <laughs> Sucker. I got it right. I put the right seasoning on the right thing. Or at least I can tell myself that. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and toss these bad boys up. That's our. <laughs> fry tossing sound I guess. Ooh, that smell is so good. Oh, I love the smell of like french fries that smell like that. <laughs> that sounded really dumb. <laughs> I like the smell of french fries that smell like that. Wow, real fucking nice commentary there. Okay, so without knocking over the camera, basically what I'm gonna do now is uh, shimmy on down over here so that we can start assembling. Now, when it comes to assembly, um, Assembly may be required. Battery's not included. <laughs> That's not where it's supposed to rip. But tell me, how am I supposed to open this? Don't you hate when you, when you, yeah, when you open the thing and it doesn't open right? Yeah, yeah, that's a bit annoying. So we're gonna heat up some tortillas. Take this bad boy. Beautiful. <laughs> it, was, it practically almost made it. <laughs> What did, I, what did I say? I said that that wok was gonna come in handy later. You thought I was just pranking you. Well, you got pranked. You pranked yourself because I actually did need it. What are these made of? What are, I don't know, good vibes and whole wheat? I don't fucking know. Oh, uh, that's not hot enough. We need it to be hotter. You can kind of just feel when it's hot enough. Uh, by the way, never do what I'm doing right now, which is sticking your hand in a hot pan. I'm a trained professional, and by trained, I mean amateur, and by professional, I mean I do this for fun in my spare time. Hey guys, you wanna know a crazy life hack? If you don't get all your fruits and vegetables, just get... juiced. <laughs> I mean, 
Are potatoes vegetables? Probably. But do they really count as vegetables? Probably not. I can't believe I almost forgot a critical ingredient when making breakfast burritos. Salsa. You have to have salsa. I don't even know if I have salsa. I don't know if this is even still good. <laughs> as it turns out, it's not good anymore. <laughs> what now? What am I supposed to add? Well, this is called cooking improv. That's actually, actually, yeah, that is what I'm gonna call this now. Cooking improv. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add some freaking. We're gonna add some pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. It's spicy, right? This is mango habanero, so it's gonna add a little bit, a little bit of sweetness. I don't know what that sound was. Um, it's gonna add some sweetness. I'm gonna add a kick, and it's gonna probably be good. So our tortilla is nice and <clears throat> steamy. So we're gonna go ahead and get this ready. Hold on, which side? Okay, yeah, so you wanna put, okay, this is kinda, kinda weird and kinda niche, but you see the side with fewer of these like brown spots and then this, the one with like the speckled ones? The speckled ones is the inside of the burrito and this is the outside of the burrito. So don't get it wrong, you fool. So we're gonna go ahead, add our mix of egg and sauce hatch and whatever else unfortunately wound up in the mix um probably about half was that half i should have measured um that's probably half now that i've spilled it on the counter and then uh, okay so i know a little 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 wacky little goofy we're gonna go ahead and take half of our french fries probably because we're doing two burritos right we're gonna go ahead and put them on there nice and thusly. I legit forgot I was putting cheese on. And we're gonna put some cheese on that sucker, right? Just a nice little, little handful. I don't like having too much cheese because then it adds like a weird kind of, I don't know, a weird kind of in, you know? It just, it's like, um, I, I don't know, like walking in on your parents yelling at each other. <laughs> so don't add that much cheese. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our pepper sauce. Uh, there's cheese stuck to my freaking hand. All right. Uh, please don't be like super runny. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's a little runny. Mm. All right. If you don't know how to wrap a burrito, um, stick around for the next two seconds and watch. Just watch. All right. So this is how you're gonna wrap a burrito. First, you want to like kind of get it nice and centered. So you have enough room on the corners, right? I know, I know it's kind of weird referring to these as corners when it's a freaking circle, but whatever, shut up. So ultimately we're gonna be wrapping this way. So we wanna put it like this, we wanna orient it like this. We're gonna fold in the sides, gonna tuck that in, okay? And then we're going to pull this up, fold that corner in, okay? And we're gonna wrap it around. And you're like, oh no, he's not gonna be able to do it. No, 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 shut up. And then we're gonna tuck the corners in and then we're going to wrap it, okay? We're gonna roll it. And then boom, look at that. I mean, it's kind of flaking a bit because the tortillas were probably expired, but you know. Either way, look at that, look at that. That's freaking beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and make the last one. I'll try to make this quick this time because I spent way too long just trying to explain about the last one. See, it was already flaky before I even like started heating it up, so. Boom, this one's a bit, this one's a bit, this one's a bit longer, okay? This one's a little girthier, this one's a bit longer. There you go, you got your variety. Girth or length, which one do you want? <laughs> Don't answer that. If you answer, you clowns would probably answer that in the comment section. Anyway, there's your burrito. Now I'm going to like present it like some like stuck up freaking pretentious chef or something like that. occasion breakfast that would make anyone feel spoilt. Eggs Benedict with crispy Parma ham. 
Beautiful. You know, this whole shifting camera gag um, took a lot more work than I was expecting. Anyway, this is the finished product. Uh, it looks like a breakfast burrito. It smells like a breakfast burrito. But now time to see the taste. And taste is king, as we all know. All right, let's try this sucker out. First, get the hippie hair out of the way. Needless to say, it's very good. Let me know what you thought, what you think, uh, what you will think. I don't know, whatever comes to mind. And, uh, oh gosh, I can't stop. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully this didn't make you too hungry, but if it did, you can improv chef just like, just like your boy, Platt. Ta-ta for now, weirdos.